Thank you very much for sending the photographs and the bit of story about your leg ulcer. Firstly, I know you say it's only superficial, but if it's not healing and it's broken skin, then it's an ulcer. It doesn't matter if it appears deep or superficial. The definition of an ulcer is a break in the skin that doesn't heal. So therefore, this is a leg ulcer. Now, it's likely to be venous um, because if it's arterial, you'll have all other sorts of problems and also other causes are quite rare. And so it does look like it's probably a venous leg ulcer. You say you banged your leg originally on a dishwasher. Well, this is typical of a venous leg ulcer. What happens is you have a trauma that to most people would be minor and the cut would just get better by itself. Because the venous system is not working properly, your arteries are working, blood's getting in there, so you're not getting sort of dead feet, black toes or anything. So the artery side is working, but you're not getting the toxins, you're not getting all the metabolites back out of the leg. So therefore, you've got impaired healing. That causes the venous leg ulcer. Now, we know that most people with venous leg ulcers have them because of either varicose veins or hidden varicose veins. And when we scan the leg and we find the deep veins are working normally, but the superficial veins or perforators aren't working and we cure those, then almost everybody, provided they're walking and provided the ankle movement is uh, normal, almost everybody gets a cure. And that's the basis of the book I wrote, Leg Ulcer Treatment Revolution. Nowadays, we know that people who have venous leg ulcers, whether they know it's venous or not, if we do a scan and the deep veins are normal and the patient's walking, we can almost always cure this now and you don't need to have compression and bandages and all those things. You need endovenous surgery done by the Whiteley Protocol and on average about three months to four months after the treatment your venous leg ulcer is healed in about 85% of cases. So really you have a curable condition almost definitely. What you need is you need to come along have a consultation have a duplex and then we'll find out what's going on and tell you what can be done and probably be able to cure you. All right.